Our discussion is about subtraction of fractions. First, we subtract similar fractions. Similar fractions are fractions that have common denominator or the same denominators. Now, let's subtract similar fractions. Here are the steps. First, we subtract the numerators. We have 4 minus 3 is 1. Then, copy the denominator. We have 5. Then, find its simplest form. Now, 1 and 5 is already in simplest form since there is no other common factor aside from 1. Then, this is our final answer. Next, subtracting mixed similar fraction. When you say mixed fractions, these are fractions that have a fraction and a whole number. And since it's similar, they have same denominators. So here are the steps. We have subtract the whole numbers. We have 8 minus 5, that is 3. Then subtract the numerators. We have 9 minus 3 is 6. Then copy the denominator, which is 15. Now simplify to its lowest term. 6 and 15 have common factor. So let's find its lowest term using the continuous division method. And the common factor between 6 and 15 is 3. So we have 6 divided by 3, it's 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then no other common factor between the two aside from 1. Then our answer is 2 fifth. But don't forget the whole number here. So our final answer is 3 and 2 fifth. Next is subtracting similar fractions with regrouping. So we have here 5 and 1 fifth minus 4 fifth. As you can see, you cannot subtract 1 minus 4. Then this is the time that we need to regroup. How? Get 1 whole from the whole number from the first mixed fraction. So we get 1 from the 5. So the 5 will become 4. And where are we going to put the 1? We make it to 1 whole fraction and we write it as 5 over 5. 4 and 5 fifths is equal to 5. Where did I get this 5 over 5? I use 5 over 5 instead of 6 over 6, 7 over 7, and so on as this 1 whole fraction so that I can easily add it to 1 fifth because the second step is add the 1 whole to the first fraction. So we have 4 and 5 fifths which is equal to 5 added to 1 fifth we have 4 and 6 fifths. Then, we can now subtract this to 4 fifths. Then, subtract the whole numbers. We have 4 minus 0, that is 4. Then, subtract the numerator by the numerator. We have 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. And then, copy the denominator. Then, reduce to its simplest form where 2 and, four, two and 5 is already in simplest form. Then, our answer is 4 and 2 fifths. Next is steps in subtracting fractions from a whole number. First, we rename the whole number as a mixed number. So we have 5 and we rename it by writing 4 and 8, 8. 4 and 8, 8 is equal to 5. Why did I write 8 over 8? So that I can subtract right away since the denominator here is 8. So subtract 2 and 5, 8. We subtract the fractions. We have 8 minus 5 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2 as the whole number. Then copy the denominator which is 8 and simplify to its lowest term. Now 3 and 8 is already in simplest form. Then that is our answer. I want you to try these examples. Okay, you check if your answer is correct. For 6 minus 1 fourth, we have 5 and 3 fourths. And 3 and 1 7 minus 1 and 3 7 is equal to 1 and 5 7. 